the real causes of constant phlegm and mucus in your throat and how to get rid of it. Your body naturally makes mucus to lubricate and protect your throat and sinuses, however, if it's making a bit too much, you may have an infection that won't go away or some type of acid reflux or inflammation that's causing a build up of phlegm. You may get a chronic scratchy or tickle feeling in your throat that makes you cough, perhaps a lump sensation in the throat when you swallow, or a feeling that mucus is dripping from the back of your nose down your throat. Unfortunately, medications usually only help to stop the symptoms, but they don't fix the root causes of the problem. In today's video, you'll learn about what is really causing your constant phlegm and mucus and how to fix these causes by using some very simple natural remedies. This video is for educational purposes only, so please speak with your doctor before using any natural remedies. 1. Acid Reflux The most common yet undiagnosed cause of constant phlegm and mucus is actually acid reflux. This is a situation where the valve at the top of your stomach doesn't close properly, causing harsh stomach acid to start flicking upwards into your food pipe towards your throat. Now stomach acid is very important to help digest your food fully, but if it's in the wrong place like your throat or your sinuses, it starts to damage the tissues inside causing inflammation. So what your body does is it makes mucus to coat the area to help heal it from damage, but the problem is it keeps coming back. Some people also experience heartburn and indigestion when they have acid reflux, but in many cases they only notice the mucus and this is called silent reflux or LPR. To get rid of this, you can mix 2 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and drink this twice a day before a meal. This simple mixture helps to close the little valve above the stomach to stop the reflux. If you notice after a week or so that your mucus is beginning to clear up, then you know that your problem was acid reflux. Which leads me on to cause number 2, antacid medications. Many people in their 40s and beyond get prescribed antacid medications or PPIs from their doctor to help stop their acid reflux. The problem with this is that these medications only neutralise your important stomach acid and unfortunately this makes the problem worse over time. Antacids block your stomach from absorbing important nutrients and they do not fix the root cause of acid reflux which is the weak valve. Work with your doctor to gradually wean yourself off these medications and start using the apple cider vinegar that I just talked about. You may also want to take between 5 to 10 betaine hydrochloride capsules before you eat to help fully digest your food, close the valve and feel better. You can get more information on this by watching my other video, 5 Vitamins to Stop Acid Reflux Naturally. 3. Postnasal Drip The other main cause of a constant phlegmy throat is having mucus that drips from the back of your sinuses down your throat. This happens when you have an infection in your sinuses from a virus, bacteria, yeast or more commonly a fungus. Colonies of different microbes band together and build a protective shell around themselves called biofilms. This protects these invaders against your immune system, so you get a chronic sinus infection that just won't go away. You see, these microbes are often resistant to antibiotics and other medications, so your body has no choice but to keep making mucus, and it keeps on dripping down your throat sometimes causing a lump sensation, chronic coughing or the urge to clear your throat. The best way to kill these pathogens off is by rinsing out your sinuses using a neti pot with some distilled water, sea salt and grapefruit seed extract and I'll walk you through this remedy later in the video. Cause number 4. Using Antibiotics Antibiotic drugs are often used to help people kill off infections, but unfortunately they only kill bacteria. 
And they don't just kill the bad bacteria, but they also kill the friendly bacteria that usually lives inside your sinuses and your throat. Sadly, when they're destroyed, this leaves a space for fungus, candida or yeast to grow and this spreads through your sinuses, causing that constant phlegm, congestion or a sense of pressure behind your cheeks. Using natural alternatives to treat colds like black elderberry, aged garlic or oregano oil can help to prevent this instead of using antibiotics. And if you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. 5. Grains and Dairy Since the 1990s, grains have been heavily promoted as a health food that's loaded with essential fibre. The truth, however, is that grains are very inflammatory and damaging to the human body. For example, whole wheat contains 20 times more omega-6 fats than omega-3s and these cause a lot of inflammation in your digestive system. Grains also contain anti-nutrients like phytic acid which blocks minerals from being absorbed in your body. And they're also grown in areas where they're heavily sprayed with pesticides, herbicides and chemicals that actually kill friendly microbes in our own bodies when we eat them. Grains also contain a protein called gluten which triggers autoimmune reactions in your body that causes mucus to build up in your sinuses, your throat and the digestive tract. To test to see if you have this food sensitivity, cut out all flour, corn, grains and cereals from your diet for two weeks and notice if your symptoms improve. You should also steer clear of seed oils like canola, cottonseed, corn, soy and deep fried foods as these are also made from grains. Additionally, it's estimated that 70% of the global population also has an allergy to dairy which causes mucus buildup as well. So if you've tried everything else in this video with no success, I'd suggest avoiding dairy for a while to see if that could be your trigger. 6. Airborne Allergies Sometimes your sinuses may be making more mucus because you have an allergy to something floating in the air. You may be allergic to pollen for example, which is hay fever that gets released from flowers, or perhaps pet hair, dust mites or mould in your home. Your body makes mucus to try and trap these particles and prevent them from entering your lungs when you breathe. You may want to ask your doctor for a scratch test or a blood test to test for various allergies. Once you've identified them, you can use air purifiers around the home and focus on removing dust, mould, etc. You can also help to prevent hay fever by consuming small amounts of bee pollen daily to train your immune system and stop the mucus reaction. Other Mucus Triggers Oils in vape devices can also coat your throat and cause mucus and cigarette smoke can do this as well. Long term lung infections like COPD or bronchitis are common triggers. Having a leaky gut and damage in your intestines may also cause toxins to leak into the bloodstream, triggering an autoimmune reaction. And certain prescription drugs like ACE inhibitors used for high blood pressure may also cause a chronic cough and thickened mucus. How to stop constant mucus and phlegm At this stage, you may have figured out which problem is causing the mucus to build up in your throat. So the next step is to use natural strategies and remedies to get rid of the root causes of the phlegm permanently. Firstly, close the valve above your stomach. If you believe that the mucus and phlegm is being caused by acid reflux or silent reflux, focus on supporting proper digestion. Firstly, talk to your doctor about weaning yourself off antacids and PPIs, which are only making your problems worse. Start taking one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar mixed in a glass of water twice per day before a meal. This liquid supports the normal pH of the stomach and helps to close the LES valve above the stomach to prevent the reflux. Heal the food pipe 
Now, if you've had reflux for a very long time, there's likely a lot of sore and inflamed tissue in your upper respiratory tract that's causing all of this mucus. I'd recommend taking 75 milligrams of zinc L-carnosine twice daily to help heal the inner skin of your throat, food pipe and your stomach. You may also want to take one tablespoon of slippery elm powder mixed with water twice per day before a meal. Slippery elm helps to form a coating on the inside that heals acid damage to bring the inflammation down. Kill the infections. Take a cup of water, add one half a teaspoon of non-iodized sea salt and five drops of grapefruit seed extract. Mix these ingredients together and pour them into a neti pot. Leaning over a sink, tilt your head to the one side and pour the mixture through one nostril, allowing it to exit the other. Do this one to two times per day until your symptoms disappear. The sea salt and the grapefruit seed extracts destroy the harmful microbes and the biofilms that are causing your infection. And next we have the throat and tonsils. To kill any chronic infections in your throat or tonsils, mix 15 milliliters of a 10% solution of povidone iodine with 15 milliliters of water. Gargle with this solution for 30 seconds, making sure that it reaches the back of your throat. Spit out the solution and don't swallow it. Do this twice per day until your symptoms subside. And then we want to re-establish your friendly microbes. If you've taken antibiotics in the past, you can bring back your friendly bacteria by consuming probiotic-rich foods three times per week. I recommend eating kimchi as a side dish very often. This contains lactobacillus sake, a strain of friendly bacteria that can restore the health of your sinuses. Additionally, you may also take Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, which helps to heal acid reflux damage, support your digestion and heal the sinuses as well. I'd also suggest eating sauerkraut often, which is high in glutamine, as this can heal your gut to prevent autoimmune reactions. Avoid allergens. If you believe that your constant phlegm is caused by certain foods that you eat, Begin eliminating grains, corn, vegetable oils and sugar from your diet for two weeks and notice how your symptoms get better. Avoid dairy also, such as milk, cheese and butter, as this is also a trigger for some people. Clean air. Speak to a mould inspection specialist if you notice areas of mould growing in your home that may be triggering an allergic reaction. Regularly vacuum the home as well, the wardrobes and the bed sheets to remove dust and dust mites. Consider using an air filter in your home if you're sensitive to pollen and other airborne pollutants. Note, for hay fever, you can eat small doses of bee pollen periodically to help train your immune system to stop reacting to it. Quercetin. If allergies are your main concern, you may also take a thousand milligrams of quercetin per day divided into two doses. This natural flavonoid found in different fruits and vegetables stabilizes mast cells to reduce histamines and allergies to prevent the mucus buildup in the throat. And finally, if you have a chronic lung disease such as COPD, bronchitis or asthma, you may benefit from taking 1000 mg of N-acetylcysteine three times per day. This very powerful remedy has been shown to reduce mucus production, improve sinus drainage and improve breathing. Summary Your throat tends to make too much phlegm and mucus when there is inflammation in the respiratory tract. The most common cause of this is acid reflux because of a weak stomach valve. Antacid drugs only tend to make the problem worse as they do not fix the root cause. Postnasal drip is also a likely cause of phlegm, where mucus drips down the back of the throat from a sinus infection. Antibiotic drugs are often the original cause of a sinus infection because they wipe out the microbe balance. Grains, seed oils and dairy are also very inflammatory and can cause allergic reactions and mucus. And airborne allergies to things like dust, mould or pollen can also trigger constant mucus as well. 
You can get rid of mucus by fixing the root cause of the problem rather than just treating the symptoms. There's actually a foolproof strategy that you can use to get rid of acid reflux by taking specific supplements and fixing your diet. And you can learn about how to do this by tapping on the video that I've put on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.